a loved one to the both of us just died today. Um, he, he, he came from an abusive home, like it's spent a few years in an abusive home years ago, and that was before we actually met him. But I don't think he ever got over what he went through there. And uh, just recently I was hearing about multiple heart problems and kidney problems, and, uh, and he uh, just died today and I feel I feel bad that um, that the waiting for the bus Cafe Baloo show all about death wasn't a few weeks later because I might have had something for it but I I wrote this piece because of everything that's gone on for him this is called hurt less than <coughs> When you have to watch death regularly, and when you have to see it happening, when you have to adjust yourself to this living thing not being around any longer, well, that's when you have to find a way to get around it, when you have to separate yourself from the details of death. It's hard, you know, turning yourself off like that, turning yourself off to death. But you have to. It will hurt less then. I've been told that when you see someone whose life has to end, well, you have to look at it logically. As cruel as that sounds, you have to think that even though, even if this is someone you love, you have to remember that this is life in general. It starts, there's growth, then conflict, often trauma, culminating in death. Face the facts. That's the way it goes. When you have to think of what you have to go through, think of it as a boxing match. Think of when you have to practice for a violent battle, even if it's just practice. And in practice, you're battling a friend. When you're in battle, even in practice, the one that you're fighting, the one against you, is no longer your friend. You have to fight them like they're your worst enemy. You cannot think that they are your friend. You cannot think that you cannot hurt them. You were in battle, and you know you're on the right side. Because even when you practice for battle, you're in battle. You have to remember all of the things you hate about them, all of the things that were wrong with them. Remembering that quells the internal struggle that makes it easier to do what you have to do. You keep seeing their face for days before this battle they face. What you'll have to go through, you know it's right you know that you'll, what you'll have to put them through, even though it might amount to their death. Really, you have to stop being so emotional. That's what you have to keep telling yourself. It isn't fun. That This isn't what you should have to go through. And I know it'll be hard, turning yourself off like that. Turning yourself off to death. But you have to. They say it'll hurt less than. <laughs>